Hello everybody! Look what we are going to do today. Remember the latch hook? Latch hook of Minion that Catherine started, didn't finish because she lost her interest into it. So I want to finish. So I pull out whatever this messy threads a little bit left in here. I can put away this part. Uh, and okay so what she did she did three full lines three full lines maybe I can even fold this even more in half so this is going to be pillow for those who did not see and for those who never ever did latch hook I already have a video and tutorial so zipper in here uh, this kind of stuff of pillows okay being stitched back into the front because we don't stitch we just need to work from the front maybe I will keep it this way that way um, I still can be good on camera and let me see the light. I'm trying to use a light as well all right we will zoom a little bit close later but she did three, three full lines which is one two three row if we can let's zoom in three full row and she started number four which is started the mouse no not mouse it's a design on, on minions pants and she didn't finish the full row have to go all the way to the end she just put two on the end in here something no yeah three anyway so I will start all the way to the end two one just wanna make sure oh okay sorry about that okay sorry about that that was Catherine <laughs> we are talking here about her and she called me okay you know what I have to mute my phone right now all right uh, so what I will do since just I need to make sure she put this two black on the right one so I have to count one two three on a fourth square and I have here one two three on a fourth square uh, I will continue to the end blue so we can even up just to finish this row because the next row will have yellow first yellow square let's see uh, now I hope I can do latch hook you know my friends I do have a problems with my hands so hopefully my thumb will be all right actually where is my protection thing where is my protection thingy in which organizer I have to find it. Hold on, hold on, hold on, my friends. I have somewhere in here, I think, or oh, at least one. At least one. I have this red one, so I will protect my finger, at least thumb, a little bit. Hopefully, this will give me a little bit more comfort in here. Okay, what we're going to do? If you never did before, let's see how close we can zoom and start to work. Fold on half. Okay, go in here, pull all the way, grab your thread and pull it. You see the close closure is closed in here. Just a little tutorial for those who never did before pull it out and then go all the way out again wrap around and go through this hoop okay and now always you have to pull it pull it to make sure it's tight nice knot in here so that's the way you do watch hook lots of fun it's pretty quick since you get used to how to do it it's not bad at all
I kind of missed it. I'm glad that Catherine didn't want it to finish because I like to do latch hook. It's fun. So the big one that I got from uh, Value Village, if you didn't see my video, you can check it out. That picture is beautiful, but uh, it's a printed kind of canvas design, but bigger design so I will have to use this like a counted cross stitch so that one will be a little bit more difficult to do but maybe after this one I will try a gorgeous picture big picture I don't think I need to zoom even more close, right? You see very well? I hope so. Okay. What I'm thinking, this design have lots and lots of yellow. So I will not do like count each row and go by the row. I think I will do like a cross country, which is I will pick the color in here and kind of outline um, for example, well, I will show you what I'm planning to do since I finished this row. And my, my computer right now run a little bit loud because I do upload video for you. That's my Wednesday video uploading right now. But this video you should see probably on Thursday, since I already have a Wednesday video, this will be on Thursday. We didn't do large hook for a long time. I will link it up for you, my other video that I created, large hook of Bunny, talking to the bird, I think that was. And also I will link it up for you not like link it up under the video but as um, like in a corner of my video uh, as a card or on a very end video as an end screen cover so you can see also my unboxing kind of shopping haul from Valley Village you can see what kind of large hook picture up there because they're very pretty uh, to be honest I thought this will be a little bit harder to do with my fingers that is hurt but it's not bad it's a little bit more complicated I would say with long nails to grab the thread proper way and obviously long nails a little bit on your way to see better what I'm doing in here but it is what it is okay two more Now Thursday, Thursday, as you watching this video on Thursday, I believe it's going to be 14 and I have MRI at 9 o'clock at night. So yes, keep your fingers crossed so I come back with good results from my MRI. I will try to figure out why I have so much headache sometimes, very powerful headaches. I want to make sure to scan my brains that everything is okay. Okay, so that's the little thing concerning me for a while and I've been waiting this MRI since last year, November or, de or December. That was a long line wait. Now, what I'm talking about cross country. I think I want to outline this first, like to create this design here first, so later I don't have to count how many blue I need, I just keep cover, you know, make it this, and outline, for example, with the blue, just outline like this, 
so that way I will know to get only yellow in here and kind of start blue in here just to make it outlining so right now I will outline this episode in here let me put this pattern in the front of me so we don't mix mixed up and okay two black I need one overlapping each other one so one is on the outside and that way I think it's going to be much better for me to do it would be much faster because the bunny that I did uh, the large hook it was really lots of changing colors that one I think I still did like in three days but it was lots of counting uh, I did few mistakes that I have to untangle because there was lots of similarity on the colors was up there that I had to break apart and do again mm, but I did it for the first time in my life I loved it and I hope you will try as well because it feels like it's a fun project okay now one over I mean two over without touching the other ones and just make sure to pull it to tie it up stronger see I didn't do very straight this one I can trim later if I want to and one over Which way we should go to the light? Okay, so now on the left side from me, I have one on the top of my last one. When I pull like this, my fingers are, have to pull maybe with my right hand still good. I mean, left hand still good. Uh, and one over there now one up One more up. And we are going to pull out some threads from the back. Okay, so what I did, one up, two, one more up, and on top of the same one. One over to the center, basically one over is like a two up all the time will be one more to the top it's fun it's fun it's fast and one more up ok 
okay so we have one two three one two three now from the top i need one two three four i need four go across in here always double check it's touching yes right in here I need four of them is it maybe I'm too close let's a little bit further so you can see more my folds and everything Four, four, four. Now, when I um, ordered this little pillow, my kit says in here. God, God, God feel or something like that uh, store I don't think this store I don't know if it still exists the store or not but uh, just yesterday I was actually uh, picking some product from DIY digital art I saw this minion up there they have up there uh, some other stores too. So anywhere where you see a large hook, you probably could find this design as well. Okay, one, two, three, four. Now we're going to one down. It's like a belt or whatever that is in a minion. One more down and over. Then two down over. Oh, didn't make a hoop. Well done. Yeah, see the one the large hook that I uh, purchased from Wally Village did not have this tool, and I used the squishy from Diamond Paint, and it's kind of better to hold. So I will try to use it. This one will be okay for the other one as well. Now I think I have two of them. Uh, okay, so one, two down. Oh, oh no, 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 not down. Hold on. Yeah, two down and two over, okay. I want to make sure I'm not making a mistake right now. Hold on. Now, two down, two over from here. Okay, see, we created outline now, outline this piece. Okay, uh, so I'm not going to even mark it up with the marker, so outline this. Now I need to create this square in the middle. And that will be, we just need one, two, three, four. And I need to find where I have to place this. So we are going to count this our first row. 
that we have two one two second row this one and over one over one so I miss this one go to here this is going to be my first of this square now one on the top and one over and that's and that's it that's our square this way it's kind of faster to outline quickly then later you don't have to count all those rows now I know that's only blue color in here and I'm not going to mistake but it's only going to work just like for simple designs like this one the other one's not going to work um, and now I'm just simply I can just fill in in here all with the color of blue that I need and this patch will be done okay so now just make sure not to miss anything there there now how many of you did lodge hook I know that some of you did a lot when you were a kid when I was a kid I didn't have a chance to have this kind of craft so for me in Ukraine I don't think I would even find it because we didn't have back then any craft stores or just basically even to cross stitch it was only you can have like count it and borrow from each other uh, like literally picture that it's done and try to count cross stitches from the actual picture to do so that's how my mom used to stitch but all this fun part it was I don't know where you have to go to find it wasn't easy okay now the okay need to go just going to finish in here on the bottom as well so I don't miss accidentally the spots in here that is uh, under my black threads to finish up here and here. Come on. Okay, I will do two more in here to even up with my black threads. So when I put them down, I'm not going to miss it later. Because it's for me, it's comfortable to do uh, from the bottom to the top. Because you kind of layer and kind of push them down so you can see your next row. But because of the cross country style, we will get a little bit through the obstacles in the middle of all these other stitches okay now we can put this down now it's like chuk, 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 all blue in here uh, what do we have on this side as well I will finish on this side
Okay, now let's get find a way. Okay, we're gonna push those away so we can see a workspace better. And half. Which way I wanna do from here? Okay, let's do from here. From left to right, since I work with my left hand right now by pulling them stronger, which is kind of not comfortable for me to do with that. Usually I just grab like this, but I have to manage to do this with my left hand. Left hand a little bit stronger at this moment. The camera literally scared me. <laughs> My video stop and make this uh, loud noise like beep beep. And I'm so relaxed right now by doing this. It literally, I jumped when my camera stopped. See how relaxing this craft is? I'm telling you, that's fun. It's fun. So definitely after this one, I will try my other one to see. Hopefully enough of those colors of the threads, I just have to... Oh yeah, by the way, everybody help me to figure out, I say, what is a sage? I kind of knew that's kind of like a greenish, but I still wasn't certain. So everybody say, yes, that's the green color. Thank you very much. Appreciate. So I think this is like a buckle maybe of his pants, of minion pants. I think that's what it is because obviously this blue is his pants. Minion, who like to watch cartoon, all those movies of the minion. Oh my God, we went uh, every time would start some new movie. Of the minion we would go watch first of course would be in teeter first so yes we went to watch all of them I like how they say banana <laughs> they are fun I wouldn't mind even watch now they are always one fun to watch okay Okay, just a minute friends, I have to pass my husband Colin. All right, we can continue. Sorry about that. They just shopping at Costco and keep asking me if I want any goodies. From there. Okay. Now with all this restarting video over and over now I will not know how long actually my video will be but anyway if we get a little bit longer that's fine too right because I want to work a little bit also with some yellow happy color maybe we will outline minion pins not with the blue color but with yellow of his body, that way we can work with a couple of different colors. We already work with black, we already work with blue. And it's actually one more color in here, gray. And the gray color go on outlining of his eyes.
like um, oh no, there's one more color. I see some orange, like a brown on his mouth and gray in here, and the rest of it's all the same, I think. I think, I think. Yeah, you see, uh, yellow, blue, gray. Oh, yeah, no, this is black, and this right in here, right here, right here, this brown one. This brown one for his mouth. Okay. I see. It's so hot, the grass is turning so yellow in here. How's the area where you live? Same hot or your grass nice and green? Okay, so here is the buckle. That's the way it's look. It's look weird right now, but when it's going to be done, it will look much better. Um, now, what we'll, we'll do, maybe, okay, let's see, let's see, let's see, so I have one, okay, let's see from this side, so I have one, two, three, four row for sure, one, two, three, four, and the fifth one, we have one yellow by this line. So this one will be yellow. And I have a one right in here to mark it up. It will be fifth row. One, two, three, four. Let me just double check. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay. We're doing good. So this is our first yellow feels like yellow much thinner easy to go through and then from here i have all blue to the end but let's do yellow i, I, need, my, I need my pack of yellow I will go outline yellow like up and actually one one on a top that way I don't have to count blue so next to this I will go one more up oh yeah yellow is much easier to work with thinner threads or yarn So now from this one we will go this way. How many times? Okay, so that's one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. More seven. So together would be eight. Or you know what I'm thinking maybe so I don't have to uh, do this later I will finish in here this blue short line actually right now because it's easy to do when it's open row then later when the thing is going kind of like a down and I can see that customer calling all right sometimes Phone calls can be 
hassle but I have to answer because they are important at this point right now you can count how many boo you need in here like for example I need one two three four five six seven eight nine of them so it's a one two three four five six seven eight nine or i see in here even like over catherine uh, plays all the way on the edge one more extra up there so those ones um, kind of don't need she went one over line because it's ten would be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah she went in here on a very very edge you see like one more extra i can just undo them later if i run out of threads or something but i'm going to continue the count as it is So I need to create this line to the end and then only two of blue on the top of that and the rest of will go yellow. So two more just be careful on the edge in here because in here it's like backing already up there so make sure don't get to the back. And I can see that I need to change battery. I, I have a more life of the battery. Doesn't feel like I record as much. Come on. What's going on in here? Okay. One more. Just want to make sure I didn't pinch the back end. Okay, now I need two more in here on the edge and then from that we will do all the yellow. This minion will be so much easier to do and like not easier, faster because less count and less colors than my bunny was. Bunny was really complicated with lots and lots of colors up there. Many different shades of browns and blues was there, and green. Okay. Uh, now, what I can do, I know that I need to place all the way now yellow, but also if I can show you this design a little bit. I can do yellow now count and like as many as I need so obviously I need over of this line and this is the line in here so I don't even have to count here just go all the way here and count one two three four five more so that's what I will do but after I exchange my battery so first what I will do I think I will do even up my yellow line in here so I know it's all have to be yellow just for in case I forget later let's say a few days later I don't know when I will be intense working on it to finish so just just for in case we will make a line Oh, 
Okay, without nails will be so much easier. But I like to have a pretty hands. But it's not very comfortable for crafting. One more, one more in here. Okay. All done in here. Now I will be doing line all the way up to to oh, to that one not enough to close the square. So obviously I need them. Uh, okay, since I already have two in here, so it's eight more, I guess. Let me just just count for in case all together one. So then. That would be that would be ten all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. No. Well done. Oh, okay, never mind. Yeah. I think so. I think so. I hope I didn't make a mistake. One over. Okay, so I will continue with yellow this way. Okay, just a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Doesn't look right. Hold on. One, two, three, four. One, two. Oh. Well done, maybe I made mistake in here. Maybe I make mistake. Just a minute. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Let's figure out together. One, two, three, four. I think I did mistake. One, this is two, okay, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four full of blue, right? One, two, three, four, yes. And the fifth, we have yellow. Yes, we do yellow, okay, so it sounds right. So why am I worried? Because it's going one over unless no it's stacked properly okay anyway anyway I need 10 of them all together okay let's keep going let's keep going all the way to the top
just to make sure I do right way I will see that for example where my black line finishing in here I want to make sure I have exactly same amount yellow one two three four five six would be seven when I place one more so hopefully that's what it is so let's see one two three four five six seven okay all good all good all good um, so three more Sometimes marking the way it's marked this black line and where I start canvas it could be a little bit tricky because it looks like we are going to over one line in here up. Uh, but that's okay, that's the way they stitch the pillow. Because if now I should be stopping right in here, but I need to make one more, so we're always going to kinda one down I guess I don't know or I can even up and just stop now here hmm decision decision what to do okay I'm not going to to do this right now I will rethink what I want to do because sometimes the way we start in here not enough one line for example to to have this line so maybe Catherine started uh, and it's not enough to kind of finish under this black line that is outlining you know the grid so I will have to double check so for now I will go in here from the edge and go up because edge a little bit tricky because pillow stitch in here so it's easy to catch the mesh underneath and here where's the fold very important to find where to work or this way or this way have to start your design which way to face it uh, because uh, some of the pillows start in here like with the few strip then block of 10 like a cross stitch and maybe from another side was more row but I think I'm the one who started for Catherine so we should be good maybe 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 hold on if I look See, like if I look from here to here it's the same row as here a short one then go black of 10 if we would start from here where is design start print so this would be like I don't know one two three four five maybe we should start from this side go up but that's okay it's a minion very easy design even if we make a one row um, a ruin it doesn't make a design like we still can continue and create the right design it's just going to be one row over always I don't know if I explain right or not That's my friends is large hook fun. I bet tonight I will work more on it.
till I fall asleep. <laughs> okay, let's get to this center line. This video I think it will be long enough already. So what I will do, I will continue. I will continue to outline this block of yellow so I can just go and do later. Um, I will do on this side as well and kind of create outline of blue all the way around and will create this two designs of this one design and then I will just go ahead and patch everything of blue and obviously my blue color will be done because there's no more blue on this part so whatever blue I will see how much I need if this is enough or not enough to get all this done because I think I have how many I have three or four more yeah, one, two, three, four. I have a four, four more. So I think it's gonna be more than enough because some design um, have lots of leftovers from my bunny and some I think I did uh, just like one left. I think that was kind of scary not to finish. So that's what I will do. And next time, I think I will uh, come to you one more time to do with you together uh, latch hook but it's going to be it should be done all the blue so we can see a little bit of minion pens okay thank you so much for watching thank you for stitching or diamond painting whatever you were doing together with me and I will see you next time <laughs>